One of the great things about Turbo is you can have lazy loading frames. So this means that I can, my web page can appear and then in the background, it will make a request uh, to the server and get back some more HTML content. This is a really cool feature that we can use to have a lazy loading, a loading screen, kind of what you see in other websites where, you know, if it's a long process in the background and you have to sort of sit there, we can load the shell of the page immediately and then we can kind of gracefully fill in content and we can use some cool animations to make it look very interactive. So follow along as we get started. Now we're gonna start with a new website, Rails new, we'll call this book data. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and build a book model and this is be, you might say pretty complicated. We'll give it an author, title, uh, the publisher, a category, the ISBN number, the Dewey Decimal number, and then just for fun, the binding, whether it's paperback or hardback. So let's get started with that. We'll go to our book model. Let's put up the enum. Let's go to our migration and we'll just make this binding a hardback by default. Okay, let me run the migrations. And what I wanna do, and I could go through and I could just generate a lot of books, but let's go ahead and use a gem called Faker. It's going to let us generate all these books. Okay, let's go to the seeds file. And this is where we can set up a lot of this data to actually generate our books. So let's go ahead and generate 2,000 books. The ISBN number is just gonna be a bunch of number, it's a string full of numbers, so we'll do some string interpolation for that. Same for the Dewey Decimal number. And then the binding is just gonna be a random number since it's an integer. And then, so we don't go crazy wondering where we are in this, we're gonna print a period every 100. And then we run the db seed command. And that's just gonna generate a bunch of books. And you can see it's going right there. Okay, cool. So we don't have any UI, but if we go to our Rails file, console, book.count 2000, perfect. Okay. Let's build a index page that we can just have like the default view of our page that will then have the turbo frame on that lazy loads the other books. So index.html books controller, let's do I don't go to routes. So we got 
books out index and we can just get rid of all this other stuff. Can we come over here? Run this, we got books out index. That's great. Everything we need. Now let's go to our books controller and let's pull in all those books. Now, this is obviously for the purpose of showing a loading screen. You probably don't want to pull in 2000 books all at once, but you know, it's kind of simulating a long running job or some kind of work in the background that could take a while to process, you know, not just rails dependent, maybe hit an API endpoint. So we will simulate that with this, just collecting 2000 records and then we'll go ahead and render them. Books.index. Okay, so that's all the data right there. We got a library at the top. Let's make that big just for fun. Text. We'll make this real simple. We'll put this all in just a table. So we'll just show these four records right now. We'll load the page and you got a lot of information right there. So we got all our books in index. Let's go ahead and add a root page. Kind of what you'd see, sort of the Often it's like the root uh, where everything kind of loads. And then we can go to our routes file and then get rid of that. Now we have the root.index. Okay, so uh, we can use the source bit here. You already main page right there. Let's go ahead and use a turbo frame tag. Give it the idea of books. And it's just gonna load that books index path. Now, in order for this to show now, guys, okay, so if I just save this and load it, I'm actually not gonna get any of the content missing because I need to put in a matching tag on the index page. So since I don't really want the wrapper bit here in the library, we don't want that to show, let's go ahead and put this in a turbo frame. Matching end after the table. Let's see if that gets formatted. Okay. So we go back to our root page and we can see that the root page loaded and then there was a half second and then our library loaded. So let me go over and let's see if we can make this real slow by generating a lot more books. Refresh our page and now you can see there's a visible delay. Uh, I think we're up to 6,000. Let's get 10,000 books in this library.
Very noticeable delay right there. Okay, so it's a weird flash, right? And this would be really cool if we could kind of put some animation into that loading page as the request to the server is coming back. So I propose coming to our root page. And first, let's just take this table because we're going to actually use that as a structure. Now, just because you got a source tag in here doesn't mean you can't put data inside the turbo frame to start with. And that's a really nifty feature. So you can have the source. It's going to send the request out to the server. And then while you're waiting for the source, um, you just have your regular content in there. Now, obviously, I don't have any books in here. But what we can do is use a range and generate about 10 rows. And then this will be an index here. Let's get rid of this just to show you what's going to actually show up. Reload this. Okay. And then, so you saw we had those 10 rows. Do that again. And then the books came in. So that's a pretty cool that we've got dummy data, if you will, and then we've got the real data that comes in. Now, obviously, it's kind of weird to have all that. So what we can do with Tailwind is we can put a little bit of a fancy animation in there. So let's go ahead and make this class. And then instead of text, let's just make a blank box. And we can do this basically with div. We want to give it a height and then a width. So we'll make that. And that's too rounded, just so it looks nice. So. You got that? Okay. For our purposes, we can make this width of 16. So let's go ahead and take that and then get rid of book.author, book.publisher, book.category. Okay, and again, you reload and you can kind of see that it takes there. Now, you can reload it. You don't get enough chance to really experience the uh, animation. So for this, and not, don't ever, you know, you don't ever want to do this in a regular thing, regular project. But let's just have this sleep for about 10 seconds to really get that feel of it just sitting there. And you can see the pulsing, the pulsing, you're waiting, waiting, still waiting, still waiting. And then the library loads. Now, isn't that really cool? And that's just no JavaScript other than what the basic Turbo framework gives us. As you can see, the loading screen in Turbo is really powerful. You can get an amazing amount of interactivity where the main page loads quickly and then sort of subsequent requests are made for long running tasks. And then as that data is ready, it just kind of pumps right in. And you can imagine if you had like a, a widget system in a website or something like that, you know, you could have those widgets maybe build a graph and then the graph comes in when it's ready. Really cool functionality. And then with a little bit of CSS, we can get it to animate and get that same sort of shimmering effect that you see all over the web as those big SPA pages take a long time to load. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment. If uh, you found this interesting, if you've got other screencasts you want me to do, please feel free to like it. And I'd love it if you could subscribe. Thanks again.